Hi, I'm Dr. Lander again uh, here at Advanced Animal Care in Richmond. Uh, we're going to be talking about vaccines in puppies, and Ella, our marketing director, is going to ask me some questions. All right, Dr. Lander, what vaccinations does my puppy need? So from day one, uh, your puppy should absolutely receive what's called DA2PP. Um, that's distemper, adenovirus, parainfluenza, and parvovirus. And then from then on, three weeks every time after that, they'll receive um, that same vaccine plus some later on. So are those different than core vaccines? So the core vaccines are the DA2PP, distemper, adenovirus, parvo, and parainfluenza, plus rabies. Um, there's some other non-core vaccines that we definitely recommend later on. So what are the non-core vaccines and why does my puppy need them? The non-core vaccines, at least that we administer here especially, are leptospirosis and uh, Bordetella. Uh, Bordetella especially people like if they go to dog parks or boarding facilities, um, that's for kennel cough, it's a respiratory condition. And then leptospirosis is a bacterium that can get out in the environment, especially around water, um, that can really affect their kidneys, so we'll vaccinate against that. How often does my puppy need to go to the veterinarian for puppy vaccinations? Yeah, uh, this is really important. So, you know, starting at that time period between six and nine weeks, and then every three weeks after that, up until their fourth round, um, especially for that parvo uh, virus vaccine, we definitely don't want them to be exposed to unknown environments or unvaccinated dogs, even three to four weeks after their last puppy vaccine. Are there any risks associated with vaccinations? Yeah, um, as a whole, you know, everything that we're injecting into an animal does come with associated risks. Most of the time it's perfectly benign and actually helps much more than it hurts. Um, but especially like the leptospirosis vaccine, um, sometimes that's the one we'll see a little mild vaccine reactions with, like some swelling or pain at that injection site. But that's a pretty simple fix. Just call your veterinarian. They can prescribe pain meds as needed. Does my puppy need vaccines even if I keep them inside? Yeah, I would say absolutely. Um, core vaccines, that DA2PP and that rabies, those are core. Um, so those by law should be given. Um, but even the other ones, like I said, lepto, um, kennel cough, all of that um, should definitely be administered. I recommend it. What if I miss one of my puppy's vaccines? So there's a little bit of a time period, you know, three, four, five weeks even in between. We like to stick to that three weeks. Um, it really helps with immunity. But if there's a little time past that, not a big deal. And we go much past five weeks, we may have to reconsider this whole time period of boostering certain vaccines. Thank you so much. Thank